starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. visiting capital city but it's so nice to get home well, why do we have to come home so early early you know what time it is boy it's after eight o'clock but the fair stays open till nine we should have stayed till the end oh that's a lot of foolishness farm and home fairs who needs them newfangled contraptions the grange seems to think they're useful there the grange even sponsored the show in the 4-h club exhibit oh. huh. i'll get it well, let's check the barn before we turn in. That new farm equipment sure was keen. Boy, those tractors and the new pickup trucks. Well, tractors is all right for them that wants them. We got a truck. Yeah, but the brakes are slipping. The doors always stick. Now, don't be pestering me about that truck. Runs all right for me. Well, and the tractors, well, they sure save you a lot of time in your work, Gramps. No, you've said that ever since you joined the 4 H. I'm satisfied as is. Boy, guess what? That was Jenny. She's been trying to reach us for the last half hour. Something wrong? No. I think it's good news. Jenny said the director from the Farm and Home Show called from Capital City. Well, what in thunder did he call you for? Well, I... I think I won a door prize. Gee, Mom, that's great. Now, don't get your hopes up, Ellen. There were a thousand people signed that book. Well, you signed it too, Gramps. Well, I know, but you and your mom kept nagging at me. Dad. You know you ain't won nothing, Helen. Well, now, everybody who signed that register had a chance to win a new stove. Or a refrigerator. Or a milking machine. Or, or the biggest prize of all, a... Can't you just see me with a new refrigerator? What's the matter with the icebox? That keeps things cold, don't it? Oh, that must be Capital City. Hello? Yes, yes, this is the Miller residence. Hello? This is Mrs. Miller. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, yes, just a moment, please. It's for you, Dad. Now, who in thunder is calling me at this? Dad, they're waiting. Uh... Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, well, well, I don't know just what to say. Yeah, I, I just got home. Um, yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. What? Oh, yeah, well, well, thank you. Well, what is it, Gramps? What happened? I won the doggone thing. I won it. Won what, a door prize? Yeah, the one you were so excited about. Not the brand new tractor. Yeah, they're delivering it tomorrow. Oh, Mom, did you hear that? Yes, dear. Boy, our own tractor. <laughs> well, what's the matter, Gramps? I'll finish up in the barn. Well, aren't you happy about it either? Oh, I, I think it's very nice, honey. I. I guess I'm just, just a little tired. Good night, Dad. Gee, girl, grown-ups sure can be funny.
Well, it's all yours, folks. I'll deliver the rest of the equipment as soon as it arrives from the factory. And we're going to get a moldboard plow and a cultivator and a disc carrow and a snow throw and a dump rake. Aren't we, Gramps? Well, don't ask me. I, I ain't had time to look into it yet. Your grandson's right, Mr. Miller. That's all part of the prize. Well, uh, we'll discuss that later. Oh, uh, your grandfather wants to learn how to run the tractor first, can he? You can start right now, Mr. Miller. Go ahead, Gramps. Uh, well, there ain't no hurry about it. Uh, don't want to take up your time, Mr. Franklin. That's why I'm here, Mr. Miller, to help you get the most out of your machine. Not today, thank you. Not today? But why, Gramps? Well, because I don't know what you've got to do, Jeff, but I've got plenty of chores to do. Well, that's what the tractor's for, Gramps. Oh, not my kind of chores. Well, goodbye, Mr. Franklin. Uh, uh, thanks for your... Oh, Dad, now, as long as Joe's here, you might just as well let him show you. Well, there's an instruction book with it, isn't there? Yes, sir, but in five minutes, I can show you what to do. Now, I'm sorry, Mr. Franklin. I ain't got no time today. I got chores to do. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Oh, Joe, I'm terribly sorry. He really does appreciate it, but well, no one can make him do anything until he's good and ready. Oh, I understand. I've run into this before with the older folks. Well, if I might use your phone, I'll find out when the rest of the equipment will be delivered. Oh, yes, of course. Help yourself. It's in the kitchen. Thank you. Jeff, I'm willing to make you a small wager that your grandfather never does drive that tractor. Oh, you're joking, Mom. No, I'm serious. He's afraid of it. Oh, Gramps isn't afraid of anything. You mark my words. Oh, Dad, will you come over here, please? Hello, Mr. Miller. Thought I'd drop in and see how you're getting along. Oh, uh, I'm getting along fine. He sure is. He's been studying the instructions. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You should be ready for a dry run. Well, there ain't no sense in driving that contraption around till we get the rest of the equipment. I brought a couple of things with me. The rest will be along later. Why did you let Joe show you how to work it, Dad? Oh, I think he knows how already. Well, I don't know about that. Sure you do, Gramps. Supposing I drive it out to the fields and you take over from there. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. You start it up, Joe, and we'll all follow. All right. Well, you know what to do now? Well, I don't know. I, <laughs> I... Let her go, Gramps. Release your brake. Release your brake. I'm all right. No thanks to this infernal machine here, though. Well, you started out fine, Graham. I know, but it didn't end up that way. We all make mistakes at first, Mr. Miller. The first and last mistake I ever made was to get on that contraption. I was going to stay right there until it falls apart, that's all. Oh, no, Gramps. 
It was nothing serious, honey. I'll do my own thinking about that, too. I wouldn't get on that infernal thing again for a million dollars. Now, why don't you let me drive it back to the yard and show you what to do? No, sir. It'll stay right here. Every time I pass it, I'll remember something that I've forgotten. What's that? You can't tease an old dog new tricks. Two whole days now, and Gramps won't even talk about it. Well, it sure is beautiful. Nobody using it. I'll bet I could move it out of that ditch. Well, you're not gonna drive it. I can't. I don't have the key. If I did, if I was old enough. What do you reckon you're doing up there, young man? Oh, hi, Gramps. Get down from there, Jeff. Oh, but, Gramps, I was just showing Porky how to drive. Get it. down. Yes, sir. Now, let's get one thing straight. Don't ever get on this tractor again. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And don't forget it. Now, scat. Ready? Later, Mom. I'm not hungry. Not hungry? Aren't you feeling well? Still feel bad about the tractor? Sort of. Mostly about Gramps. Oh, so you're worried about him, too? You mean you've noticed how he's been these past few days? Yes, dear heart, I've noticed. Working too hard. Harder than usual, I mean. It's all work that could be done so easy with the tractor. I know, I know, but that's just the way he is. Isn't there any way we can make him use it? Honey, I have racked my brains, but I can't think of a single thing. Hello, sweetheart. Are you in the stage? No, just to take a breath, that's all. Got plenty more to do. You look real tired, Gramps. Well, I ain't exactly been playing croquet or going fishing, you know. Darn back feels like it's broken six places. Oh, why don't you try to take it a little easier, Dad? Ellen, you know you don't take it easy on a farm. You know that. Well, now, just a minute. There's a difference between work that has to be done and unnecessary drudgery. And just what does that mean? Well, you see, Gramps, nowadays on a farm, the farmers use time-saving and labor-saving methods and machines. Like a tractor, maybe? Yeah, that's right. Just forget about that tractor, will you? That doggone bash gonna kill me tomorrow. Well, I thought you'd finished with your cultivating. Well, this is something else. Got to go to the timber lot and get the wood in for the winter. Boy, that's a big job. Yeah, it sure is. Cutting down the trees, sawing the logs, and hauling them down to the woodshed. Say, Gramps, I've got an idea. Why don't we borrow Jim Teal's saw attachment, then rig it up to the tractor? Then all we have to do is lash a line around the wood... Foundation, and... Jeff! Forget about that fool tractor. We're gonna do this job just the same way I've done it for years. Oscar Green? Yes. I've already called him. He's coming over tomorrow morning with his power saw. He's going to saw the trees down, cut the logs, and we're going to haul them home in the pickup. Well, but, Gramps... Oh. I know. You're going to tell me that you could do it blindfolded with the tractor, ain't that it? No, sir. It's about the pickup. The brakes are slipping and the doors are warped. Well, we'll talk about that when we get the job finished. And we're going to do it tomorrow. And it'll take the both of us. You and me.
just about does it, Mr. Miller. Right, Santa Oscar? I'd say that just about does it. I'm all finished here, and a couple more loads, you can wrap it up. You look all tuckered out, Jeff. I guess I am a little tired, Mr. Green. Well, you've been going at it hot and heavy, and that grandpa of yours is sure a beaver for work. Well, farming is hard work. Always was and always will be. That's right. Yeah. Well, come on, boy. Let's get loaded here now. Come on, boy. Come on. I'm coming, Gramps. job's over for another year. I'm plumb tuckered out. You look kind of tired yourself, Jeff. Boy, I am. Well, when we get unloaded and the tools hung up back in the barn there, we'll, we'll call it a day. Gosh, Gramps, I must have left the axe back there. Oh, you're always forgetting something. That was a brand new axe. Cost a lot of money, too. Stay out all night, it'll get rusty. Oh, stop the car. I can run back across the fields faster and you can drive back. Um, uh, never mind. Uh, I'll get it. But, Gramps. Don't allow them to forget to come back. And I forgot my pipe and tobacco, too. Well, we might as well get out and walk around. in the world. 
Well, I decided I'd better use this contraption. Well, but the truck. Well, we knocked the oil pan off, Mom. Got a tow at home. Yep, that's right. Now, what have you two been up to? Well, we'll tell you all about it later now, Ellen. We got work to do now. <laughs> I certainly never thought I'd see you up there. Honey, I always said the man is never too old to learn. You ready, Jeff? All set.